Welcome back to the Makahare Event Hall here near Tokyo, the 1994 World Figure Skating Championships. 16-year-old Jamie Solly from Edmonton, 23-year-old Jason Turner. You go to Ross Shepherd High School at 16 years of age. How do you handle this pressure? I don't know. I just, I mean, school, school is a totally different thing for me. The school uh, that I go to is a very supportive and... Uh, Basically, the, the teachers just told me, go there and have fun. And so, I mean, there's no pressure from the school or anything. And I just come here and I do my best. And As the old man, do you give her any advice? <laughs> I tutor her, no. I just, you know, as long as she can enjoy everything, you know. I mean, not many people at her age get the opportunity to go to the World Championships or we just came back from the Olympics. So, I, I mean, my only advice is I've been through school and I've done all the missing class and stuff. And you got to have fun with what you're doing. Just a couple of seconds, some trouble with the axles. What happened? Well, I mean, I had a few problems myself. I really want, I didn't want a two foot anymore. I did, I did a lot of two footing at the Olympics. I thought I got to come out in one foot, put my finger down, and I didn't even know what happened to Jamie. I, she just kind of, we finished, we were in the spiral sequence. She went, sorry, and I went, oh. I always seem to say that to him whenever I miss my axle. I go, sorry. <laughs> right. I just happened to uh, slide off my edge on the axle, but. All right, good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Jamie Sally, Jason Turner, let's go back to Chris Cuthbert. All right, Brian, just a reminder, later tonight you'll see Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler as they open defense of their world title. But right now, warming up for their debut at the World Championships, Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, they've come a long way as a team in less than two years. Owners go. It's been quite a ride for Chris and Christy, a surprise silver yeah. at Canadians, then skating after the Olympic champions in Lillehammer. I mean, to skate after, you know, the potential Olympic champions and the 88 Olympic champions, I mean... Um, for us, I'm, what else do we have to lose? We skate after Lloyd and Isabel at nationals. I mean, they are our national champions. There's no way you're going to defeat them. You just go out there and do your thing. So every time we skate after a great team, we just do our job. I mean, what pressure do you have? I mean, there isn't really any pressure because of the fact that no matter what you do, you're not going to beat them. You know, basically that's when you go into it. I mean, you can try as hard as you want. But when you're looking at a team with the experience and the talent level that they have, Lloyd and Isabel and the, uh, Gordieva Grinkoff, I mean, you just do your thing. I mean, it takes almost, for me, it takes all the pressure right off. There is real life pressure, though, being a 20-year-old skater and single mother like Christy. For me, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do is when I moved from Edmonton to Montreal and leave her behind because... Before that, it was skating was my life, and then she came, and it was kind of a different situation. But in order to make her her life probably better in the future, I had to do something. So I had to leave her behind. <laughs> so Christy moved from Alberta to Montreal, where she lives with the Wirtz family, and their two great Danes, a move that's been mutually beneficial. In 92, after the Olympic Games, about five months later, my partner and I split up, and um, I was going through partner changes and looking for partners and Christy's name came up real quick and it was a, a fly-by-night sort of thing we just phoned her up and uh, asked if she wanted to try out and she flew to Montreal in uh, late October and it just worked out and we just kept going from there. Theirs is not a perfect match but Chris is ready to address the pair's biggest weakness his size. I mean everybody has their problems you know I mean you look at a lot of teams um, jumping sometimes uh, the throws I mean, we've got those sort of things. So for me to actually go into the gym and, and put a little weight on and, and bulk up and get a little stronger, I'll, I'll take my chances at that than throwing the, uh, the throws out the window or not being able to do the jumps. You know, I like my chances better than a lot of other people. And when you, I tell you Their coaching is an international collaboration sometime. between Chris's older brother, Paul, and Russian pairs mentor, Igor Moskvin. Very he gets with it. Like he, he gets a lot. He gets right into the lesson. Whoever he's working with, he, he just tries to help you so much. When we got there, we were skating about two or three arm lengths away, and we came back and we were an arm length away. Every time I lifted my arm, Christy was there. We were becoming a mold. We were we were one person, and, and that's what he really helped us with, and we benefited a lot from that. <laughs> Well, Chris and Christy talked about pressure, and there is some extra pressure on them here. Should Isabel Brasseur not be able to complete this competition because of her rib injury, Canada would depend on Sargent and Wirtz for a top 10 finish to qualify two Canadians for next year's Worlds. They were 10th at the Olympic Games.
They're opening with the side-by-side -side double axles, which are very strong for them. Here's a look at the double twist. Here's the side-by-side -side double axles. A little wild on the landing there. What I like most about it is the fact that they go into it holding hands right up to the point where we're about to step into it and take off, and that demonstrates how close they are, and that's one of the critical things a judge would be looking for. And as they mentioned in the profile, that's the influence of Igor Moskvin. Little difficulties with the unison on the spin there. demonstrate the spiral sequence, which is one of the eight elements. One of the skaters must complete the sequence, always being in a spiral position. Is there overhead lift? And I would have to say, in one year, that aspect of their skating has perhaps improved more than any other. Well, I've just been so impressed with the improvement in a year. I remember seeing them last year at the Canadians and this year. I didn't even really think they were the same pair. And most of that is just the time together that they needed. for the confidence, no hesitation in any element that they attempted in this program. And I think it shows, a, as you mentioned, Barb, a great improvement, a sign of maturity. Good position on the back outside death spiral. back with the marks for Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz when we return to Japan. Are you colder than I am? How is that? Back at the event yeah, hall, awaiting the marks the for the Christy game. Sargent, 20 years of age from Alex, Alberta, and 24-year-old Chris Wirtz from Marathon, Ontario. Thank you. The required element marks 5 1 through 5.3 from the Italian judge. I wasn't losing any ending. I really liked the twist because it was big, it looked really good. That's really good. Paul Wirtz. He calls himself the manager. There's the presentation marks up to a 5 4. They have three first place marks, a second place mark, and right now they are in first place. So a nice job by Sergeant at work. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Very good. You want me to head on?